Okay, question five. Um, it's a show that question. So we are, at the end we're going to have to draw the conclusion. And here's the conclusion that we are going to have to draw. So I can write down uh, to begin with. Therefore, x minus 2 is a factor of blah, 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 f of x. That's all I need to write there, actually. So in a show that question, you know what you're going to finish by writing, whatever happens. How do I show that it's a factor? Well, what you don't want to do is the grid method, OK? Um, sometimes it will actually say, use the factor theorem uh, to show it's a factor, in which case you'll get zero marks for the grid method. Um, but you're mad to use a grid method when you could use a factor theorem. So uh, if, if we want to consider whether x minus 2 is a factor, we find the remainder when we divide by x minus 2. Factor and remainder theorems are the same thing, really. So we're going to work out what the remainder is. But to, in order to do that, um, we need to think what the special x, what the magic x is going to be. So the magic x is going to be when, OK, uh, the divisor that you're interested in equals 0. And that leads to the x value that you're going to substitute into your your f of x and the answer when you substitute it in is the remainder and if you want it to be a factor you're hoping the remainder will be naught. So as soon as you get an answer by of naught convincingly um, then you can draw the conclusion. Okay and then hence we factorize f of x as far as possible. So once you know one factor you can use the grid method so you can do x minus 2 down the side, you can fill in the grid. We know it's a factor so at the end uh, this, this bottom term here should work out exactly. It should be this minus 2 and so you're going to at that stage have, uh, you, you'll have set up the grid so you've got x minus 2 times something. You now know what that something is. It'll be the thing all across the top and to factorize it as far as possible, well, this may be factorized as far as possible. You've got to consider whether this can be factorized. Yeah, if you suspect it can't, well, there are two possibilities. It could be a quadratic that does have uh, values of x that make it zero, uh, they're just nasty, or it could be um, there simply aren't any values of x that makes this zero. If that was true, then you could use a discriminant to show that this can't possibly be factorized using real numbers anymore. So uh, see how you go with this. This could be a, factor, uh, a quadratic you can factorize, or it could be that you can prove it can't be factorized. So see what happens.